Hi folks, it's Ramona from The Healing Grapevine and I was on the Quora platform and found the question, what is the current state or state of knowledge Lyme disease? It's an excellent question because uh, really you're going to be treated most effectively by doctors who have the, the most up-to-date information about Lyme disease. The biggest thing that's happening right now is that, for example, if you were to go to Google and put Lyme disease into the search engine, uh, what would be returned to you are sites like the uh, National Institute of Health, Wikipedia, CDC, Mayo Clinic. All of them are stating that Lyme disease comes from tick-borne, is a tick-borne disease. And we know this isn't true. The alternative community has been tracking uh, other vectors, insect vectors besides uh, ticks as being carriers. And uh, on my site, I reprinted a great article from Dr. David Williams, and he uh, specifically points out that they have found live spirochetes in fleas, mites, and mosquitoes. I was bit by a deer fly, so I can raise my hand and say I know that that insect has also a carrier for the Lyme spirochete bacterium. He also goes on to discuss the fact that they're tracking this spirochete in uh, different body fluids, in our blood, our semen, urine, breast milk, vaginal secretions, and that that brings about the question and concern that this could possibly be, tra be transmitted from one person to another, uh, possibly after repeated sexual contact, and even passing from the placenta into the womb of an unborn child. It's a syphilis-like bacterium. This guy goes anywhere. It's, this is what is one of the reasons it's such a devastating disease, is the type of bacterium it is, and the fact that there's a lot of misinformation and underdiagnosis occurring. Uh, I also had the privilege a couple of summers ago to go listen to Ginger Savely, she's a doctor of nursing practice, uh, do a presentation about Lyme disease. And she said that they've discovered Lyme disease uh, can be encapsulated in a cyst and lie dormant in our systems for years and maybe even decades. And that along comes a stressor death of a loved one, divorce, something else very stressful in your life, and it will break open the cyst and release these spirochetes. And then you go to the doctor saying, I'm not feel well, feeling well. And he says, well, uh, you know, let's check for Lyme disease. Were you bit by a tick? Have you been to Connecticut recently? Any of these questions? And you're going to say, well, no, because this, if it, this was the case for you and it was a cyst, it's been dormant in your, in your body for so many years that that clinical impression for history is not going to be valid. Uh, the other thing that Dr. Savely went on about is that she looks for atypical diagnoses. In other words, a diagnosis that says atypical lupus, atypical fibromyalgia, maybe it's restless leg syndrome, chronic fatigue, lots of migraines, unexplainable. Anything unexplainable or atypical, she says, is a red flag to her that quite possibly uh, her patient has contracted Lyme disease. So she goes and starts that treatment. Um, on the natural news side of things, Mr. Mike Adams reported that back in September, he says, uh, the fastest growing infectious, infectious disease in the U.S. is Lyme disease. So you have lots of information on the alternative channels that's saying, hey, get out of the box. There's a whole lot more going on. Here's Mercola's site. He has an interview with uh, Dr. Klinghart. And Klinghart goes and he starts treating for parasites. He looks at uh, EMF fields, a lot of other things that are more on the detoxing of the body burdens. Uh, these kinds of things are what we really have to look for and uh, ask questions about in order to really stay current with uh, what's going on with this disease, because I do believe it to be the most infectious disease, uh, and it's also the most undiagnosed, misdiagnosed, underdiagnosed, excuse me. And uh, these are things that are going to be a challenge for you when you go to your doctor. Find a Lyme literate doctor, no matter where you live, and uh, hopefully you'll get the recovery and the treatment that you need. So just remember, you heard it through the grapevine, and have an excellent day.